Hello friends. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn how to create auto complete or auto suggest text box by using pure JavaScript with PHP script and MySQL database. Auto complete text box, which will allow user to quickly search and select value from the auto suggest option list, so it will display the suggestions automatically when user has type into the text box field. So this feature, we have to build, by using pure JavaScript with PHP script and MySQL database, without using any library like jQuery. In this tutorial, we will use Bootstrap for style sheet library, for display suggestion automatically, using JavaScript with PHP script. Now let's start discussing this topic. So here we have testing database, and under this, we have post table with six table column like, ID, post title, post description, author, date time and post image. And under this table, we have already inserted some data, so this table post title column data, we will use for create auto complete text box using JavaScript with Ajax. Now this is our working folder, and here we can see two file, one is index.html, in which we will write HTML and JavaScript code, and other is processdata.php file, in which we will write PHP script. So first we have open index.html file, and under this, first we want to create search text box, so here we have write input type is equal to text. Name is equal to search box, class is equal to form control and form control large, and placeholder is equal to type here. After create text box, now below this text box, we have create one span tag, with id is equal to search result, under this tag, we will display auto suggestion option list, which it will be fetch from database. Now we have go to javascript code part, and here we have make load data function, with query argument, this function will send ajax request to php script, and then after it will display filter data, at below search text box. So under this function, first we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write query dot length value is greater than 2, so this condition will check. If this query variable has more than two character, then only it will execute if block of code. Suppose above condition falls, then it will execute else block of code, and here we have write, document.getElementById method, and under this, we have write search result, with inner HTML is equal to blank, so it will remove content from this search result span tag. But suppose above condition true, then it will execute if block of code, and here, we have create one form data variable is equal to, new form data object, so here we will use form data object, for send data. For store data in form data object, here we have write form data dot append method, and this method will insert a set of node object. So for store key name, here we have write query, and for store field value, here we have write query variable, so it will store this data under this form data object. Now we want to send Ajax request using pure JavaScript, so for this, here we have write Ajax request variable is equal to, new XML HTTP request object. This objects are used to interact with servers, and it is heavily used in Ajax programming. Below this, we have write Ajax request dot open method, with two argument, in first argument, we have write post method name, and in second argument, we have write process data dot php url, so here this open method will send post data request to 
process data dot php url next we have write ajax request dot send method and under this we have write form data variable so this send method will send request to server with data below this we have write ajax request variable dot on ready state change is equal to call back function so whenever any event has been trigger then ready state attribute changes and this callback function will be called under this function we have write if statement and under condition we have write ajax variable dot ready state variable value is equal to 4 and ajax request variable dot status variable value is equal to 200 if this both condition true that means server request process finished and it will receive data from server and it will execute if block of code under this block we have write response variable is equal to json dot pass method and under this we have write ajax request dot response text variable so here we have store data under this response variable this data we have received from server below this we have create one HTML variable is equal to division tag with class is equal to bootstrap for list group class. Below this, we have write if statement and under condition, we have write response length value is greater than zero. Suppose this condition falls, then it will execute else block of code, and under this block, we have write HTML variable, and under this, we have append HTML like anchor tag, with ref is equal to hashtag, class is equal to, list group item, list group item action and disabled, and in anchor text, we have write not data found. So this data will be display in auto suggestion option list. But suppose above condition true, then it will execute if block of code. And here, we have write for loop, and under condition, we have write count variable is equal to zero. Count variable value is less than the value of response dot length, and count variable value increment by one. Under this loop, we have write HTML variable, and under this, we have append HTML code like, anchor tag. And under this tag, first we have write ref attribute is equal to hashtag, after this, we have write class is equal to, list group item and list group item action. After this in anchor text, we have write response variable with count index dot post title so it will display post title under anchor text so on every loop it will append post title data under auto suggest option list data so here we have store all suggestion option data under this html variable so now we want to display this data in search result span tag so for this here we have write document dot get element by id method and under this, we have write search result, dot in the HTML is equal to HTML variable, so this code will display data under this search result span tag. So here our function is ready, now we have go to search text box, and here we have write on key up is equal to, javascript double color load data function, and under this, we have write this dot value. So when we have typed something under text box, then it will call this load data function. Now we have go to process data.php file, and here we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write is set function, and under this, we have write dollar post query variable, so if this variable value is set, then only it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar connect variable is equal to new do class with three argument like 
MySQL host is equal to local host, database name is equal to testing, user name set to root, and password set to blank value, so this code will make database connection. After making database connection, here we have create one data variable is equal to array. Under this variable we will store post table data. Below this, first we want to remove special character from query variable. So for this, here we have write dollar condition variable is equal to preg replace function with three argument. In first argument, we have write condition and in second argument, we have write string for replace, and in third argument, we have write dollar post query variable. This function will remove special character from query variable and store pure string under dollar condition variable. After remove special character, now we have write dollar query variable is equal to select post title from post table where post title like open and close percentage sign and between this we have write dollar condition variable and after this we have write order by id in descending order with limit 10 data so this query will search data from database and it will fetch maximum 10 data from database below this query we have write dollar result variable is equal to dollar connect variable with query method and under this we have write dollar query variable so this query method will execute above query and return query execution result in array format after this we have write dollar replaced string variable is equal to open and close bold tag and between this we have write dollar condition variable Now for fetch data from dollar result variable, here we have write for each loop, and under condition, we have write dollar result variable as dollar row variable. Under this loop, we have write dollar data variable is equal to array. In array first key, we have write post title, and in value, we have write string i replace function with three argument. In first argument, we have write dollar condition variable, and second argument, we have write dollar replace string variable, and in third argument, we have write dollar row post title variable, so it will replace simple dollar condition variable string with bold string, and on every loop, it will store data in dollar data variable. Now we want to send this data to Ajax request in JSON format. So here we have write echo statement with JSON encode function and under this we have write dollar data variable so it will convert text into JSON format and send to Ajax request. So here our code is ready. Now we have check output in browser. Friends here we can see that when page has been load in browser then we can see that one text box on web page with type here label. So here we have start right under this text box and here we have write type PHP tutorial. So here below text box we can see that auto suggestion post title result in which PHP tutorial is present has been display. Here we can see that which text we have type in text box then this text has been display in suggestion result with bold text. Now we have type some more character. Then suppose that data is not present in database then it display no data found message. So we have again remove extra character. And now we can see PHP tutorial query auto suggestion result below search text box. Now when we have click on any option then that option text must be display under this search text box. So for this, we have go to index.html file, and here we have go to JavaScript code, and here we have make get text function with event as argument.
Under this function, we have write string variable is equal to event dot text content, so it will fetch text content from this event tag. For display text in search text box, here we have write document dot get element by name, and under this, we have write text box name search box with zero index dot value is equal to string variable, so it will display click option text under this search box. After click on any option, so then after, we want to remove all suggestion, so here we have write document dot get element by ID method, and under this, we have write span tag ID search result dot in the HTML is equal to blank value. So it will remove auto suggestion content from search result span tag. Now we want to call this function when we have click on auto suggestion option. So here in anchor tag, we have write on click event is equal to get text function and under argument, we have write this. So when we have click on any auto suggestion option, then this function will be called and it will display anchor tag text under search text box. Now friends, first we have refreshed this page, and now in search text box, we have write PHP tutorial, so after write search query, so below we can see auto filled suggestion result. Now we have click on this option from auto suggestion result, and after click on this result, here we can see that option text has been displayed in search box, and other suggestion result has been removed. So this way, we can make auto complete text box feature function for our web application with the help of JavaScript using PHP script and MySQL database. Lastly, if you have any query or inputs regarding this tutorial, you can ask your query in comment box. If you have liked this video, please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also, and lastly don't forget to subscribe our channel for future video tutorial.